What's up everybody? Today we're going to be working on the G20 again. Got it up in the air. And uh, we're actually going to be making a skid plate for it. So, Justin's getting some measurements. Starting to get everything laid out. And uh, I think we're just going to make one giant skid plate. That goes from these fault holes. And then cover up our oil pan. And our transmission pan. And then bolt back in right there. So it's got this plate here, but it's uh it's not long enough to go front to back. So we've actually got a second piece of it right here. And we're gonna have to make it in two pieces and then weld it together. So Justin will get all this laid out how he wants it, and then we'll cut it up and see what we can come up with. All right, I got this all cut out. Well, the first cut made. And then uh, it's running into the exhaust right here. So we have to like kind of bend it around the exhaust. So Justin's cutting out this section right here so we can get it a little bit more flat and see where we're at. So it turns out all we need is just a little bit of a bend. So, just do that. That should be it right there. Test it. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's about perfect. Precision. So measure out these factory holes right there. Marked it out on the plate. Now we drill it. All right, so we got this kind of mocked up over here. Got some bolts in it, got the clamps on it, and then took all our measurements for the second half and made a template out of some cardboard. So now we see if that fits. Are you gonna bolt in the cardboard? We're gonna fully install. We got another piece of this metal, so we'll uh, trace that out and then chop it out, test fit it, probably put a little bend in it, and then weld the two pieces together and we should have ourselves a giant skid plate. Got our basic shape cut out, and then now he's going through and making the cutouts for the lower A arms here. Now, if you're wondering why the two curves are offset from each other, the whole skid plate is kind of offset because the transmission cross member is offset from the subframe here. Everything's kind of scooted this way just a little bit. So it's just the difference right there. It should look normal once it's actually on there, but it's a gambler, what's it matter? This piece is all shaped up, and then we clamped it down to this square stock here, and then some angle on top. And we're gonna try and bend this piece down so that way we can have our so that way we can have our angle from up here down to that. 
So the metal is just a little bit too thick, so we got it set up in a vise. And we're just gonna like score it. And we're just gonna score it so it'll bend easier. And then we can run a weld down it for extra strength if we have to. Got that set up like that. Oh, we got this, got this piece all bent up and it fits perfectly. So now we'll just have to figure out where our holes are. Drill the holes, bolt it in, and then uh, we gotta weld the two pieces together. And then it'll be done. Yeah, I'm going up. Max two? Yep. Jeez, Full base. Justin got this thing tacked together and we pulled it off and it is all one piece now. Turned, turned out to be a pretty big skid plate. But all he's got to do now is weld it all the way across. You see he's just got some tacks on the edge. So we'll weld that all the way across and then uh, we'll paint it up and drill some holes in here. And it'll be Got this thing all welded up. Stitch follow the front there where we had to score it so we could bend it. Got one bolt in the front. Got a couple temporary bolts in the back. But uh, it's looking pretty good. So we'll come back in the morning and get the rest of our bolt holes drilled and get it painted and. All right, next day, back at it. We're gonna make a skid plate for the gas tank and uh, get this one up here painted. So, Justin's working on getting this metal ready. He's gonna, he's gonna cut it off right here and then weld these two panels together right there. And that should give us a nice square piece that'll cover the whole tank here. And then we're just gonna weld tabs or something on it and go up to some bolts. Maybe drill a hole in the floor and nut and bolt through there. So while Justin's getting that plate ready, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the main skid plate here. Justin got all these plates cut out how he wants them and it's in two pieces so he's welding them back together. Got this skid plate all painted up. And then in the back here, we figured out where we're gonna mount the skid plate. There you go, here on the bumper mount. And then we're actually just gonna make some holes in the floor over here. And we're just gonna take some round tubing and weld to this, and then a piece of angle on top to give us a uh, somewhere to bolt to. So Justin's cutting some of this pipe up. All right, we've got all the pieces of pipe cut out, paint ground off, and then Justin sacking some angle iron on there, and that'll be where we bolt to. And then the other side of the tube will be welded to that plate back there. So Justin's got everything prepped. We've got our little brackets here. We've got everything measured out. So now he's just gonna weld that to the skid plate. Then we'll drill our holes. And then we'll have our back mounts done. And then that'll 
make it to where we can line up our front mounts and do the same thing as we did here on the back on the front. Covering up the whole gas tank. Now we've got mounts here. And then that brown tubing right here is the rear mounts and those just go through the floor. Justin's putting the last one on right now. And then we added this brace right here just to help keep stuff out of here, you know? All right, we got the gas tank skid plate all done. Got everything bolted up in there. You can't see on that side because of the shock, but you can see that side. That uh, just goes through the floor there. And then the back is on the bumper support things. So gas tank skid plate and then engine and transmission skid plate is all done. And then the rock slider type thing on the front is all done. So we're all armored up and ready for the Bama Gambler. So that's gonna be all for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week for the uh, Bama Gambler video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.